Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee. I got all my goodies that we need to prep and get either into the fridge or the freezer. So hang out with me. I'll show you how I do that. Also, I've got an abundance of eggs and we're going to freeze them. I'm going to show you how I freeze them in muffin tins and we may even cook some to freeze for uh, breakfast sandwiches. So let's get busy. We're going to get these carrots peeled and cut up first because we need to blanch these before these go in the fridge. You you don't have to blanch them, but they, they may very well lose their color. And when they do thaw out without being blanched, they will, will um, they'll get mushy on you. So I'm, I'm like that. I don't blanch a whole lot of stuff, but carrots I do because I want them to retain their color and their beautiful texture. I'll meet you at the sink, friends. Okay, friends, there goes my carrots. We're going to get those washed up <coughs> and peeled. I'm going to peel these up first, and then I'll get them all washed. Put them in my little basket there, and then they'll, I'll get them all washed up, and I'll show you how easy these are to cut up. I use my crinkle cut. Uh, my wavy cutter, I should say. And it gives them a crinkle cut carrot. Sometimes I take and I uh, can, ju you could just put these, these are like, this is whole food, friends, this is fantastic. You can take and slice these into little chunks and put them in your fridge. Oh, carrot sticks. My grandkids love them with a little ranch dressing. Okay, friends, <clears throat> nothing goes to waste here. You can either put this, this would be wonderful for your compost pile if you're making compost, or if you have backyard chickens. I'm giving this to my chickens. They love this. So nothing will go to waste. Rinse my sink down a little bit. I got a screen in my drain so it doesn't go down the drain. There we go. Okay, we're going to let these drain off a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and clean my Brussels sprouts. Okay, I'm just going to put that in the sink there. I'm going to open this bag. I'll get everything all cleaned and then we can um, start prepping it for the freezer and the fridge. I like to cut mine in half. I love these Brussels sprouts in my roasted with my sheet pan dinners. Absolutely. Or you can just roast them on their own. They're good raw too. I love them. I, anyway, really. But my favorite way is with the sheet pan dinner. And when you have these all cleaned and prepped and ready to go, it makes it so easy when you put together dinner. You can just take them out of the freezer, turn them out onto a sheet pan, put a little olive oil seasonings on it, and you're ready to go put it in the oven and it's a quick and easy dinner and it's whole food it's wonderful healthy and delicious now i don't blanch these 
I just wash these real good. The carrots I do because the carrots will get mushy and they'll lose their color. They, they do need to be blanched. They're like potatoes. And again, my chickens will love these scraps. But all this, if you're doing a compost, like I just said, it would be wonderful on your compost pile. But my chickens would be awfully upset if I put this into my compost instead of in their chicken run for them. Okay, I'm just going to put this right in a little chicken bucket. They're going to love that. All right, now we got these all in here. We're just going to give these a nice wash. Okay, let them just sit there and drain. Okay, these are probably ready to get cut up. So we'll start working on those. Okay, friends, we're going to get these cut up. I'm just going to take the ends off. Now I'm using my wavy cutter. I love this thing. And it takes a little more time. You know, it's a little tedious, but you know what? I love the look. It looks nice. And they're cut wavy. Perfect. Love it. Okay. I'm going to keep the ends and pieces in my garbage bucket right here. Okay, so I'm just going to get these all cut up and then I'll show you blanching. There we have it, friends. These are gorgeous. Take a look. All the crinkle cut carrots. Beautiful. <clears throat> so if you are wondering where I got this, this thing is huge and it's old. Mine is old. Mine's got a wooden handle on it. I got mine at an estate sale probably 15 years ago. So you can get these, and I'll put a link to them. You can get these on Amazon. And they're not very expensive. They're under 10 bucks, so they're nice. But probably not as durable as this one because it's always the old stuff is more um, durable than the new. Just look at the duct tape. That'll tell you. All right, friends. I am going to get some water in this pan ready to blanch those. Okay. Put the lid on that. Bring it to a boil and then we're going to blanch our carrots. And I've got to get my cold water. I don't use ice in it. I just use very cold water to plunge them in when they're done blanching. Okay, now I'm going to get these. I got them washed. He's taking a nap, so I got them washed. I'm just going to cut these tops off. And I know a lot of people don't. I want my... Actually, I'll put the tops in here because I'm saving them for my chickens. A lot of people don't cut them. They just take the core out. But some of these have white on the top. These have all been washed, so I'm just going to cut them in half. 
and put them in here. That way he can take out a few at a time. Beautiful. And put them in the fridge. And the water is on my power burner, so it'll boil fairly quick there. Now, I filled his jar. The rest, I'm going to put in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. These are beautiful. I can fit one more in there for him. Goodness sakes. Okay, see? They'll last nice in your refrigerator, too. Um, I'm going to just cut this onion up into chunks. Because this is a red onion and I love them. I'm going to cut this up for my um, sheet pan dinners. Those are good. Okay. Let's see. Okay. That's good. Those are ready. <laughs> I love doing this. Get all the air out of there. Okay, now I'm going to put my Brussels sprouts in here too. I can pack these pretty good because I'm not going to use them all at once. put them together or even if I just take them out of the freezer and take some out they won't be sticking together you give them a good old bang on your counter and they'll they'll all break apart anyway and then we'll have these all done these are good in soups too Okay, that's done. It's getting close, but it's not boiling yet. Okay, those are ready. Now, these are washed and ready to enjoy. So what we're gonna do, I'm not going to wash them again. They're fine. I'm going to pack those into Ziploc bags for myself. Oh, beautiful. Look at them. Those are nice size, too. Gorgeous. I'm going to pack these full. Not that I'm going to eat them all at once, but... Oh, that'd be beautiful on a sheet pan dinner. These are nice sized pieces too. These are gorgeous. Okay. And I wouldn't blanch these either. All right, so we got one there. Okay, our water is boiling. Let's put these in first. I can get them 
all in there. Put that lid on. I'm going to give that a little bit of a stir so they don't stick to the bottom. Beautiful. Now, when that comes back to a boil, that's when we'll time it for two minutes. All right, so let's finish this up. These are wonderful. I think that is starting to wear out. I love these. Somebody called them my green contraption. My friend Elizabeth calls them my green contraptions. Ah, they work nice. You can get them at Amazon. You can probably get them at Walmart, Meyer, any of those places. I just get mine from Amazon, and I love them. air out as I can. It's nice to have that all ready for your freezer, all ready for your freezer meals. You know, I could, one day I could just decide I'm going to put them all together in freezer meals. We could still do that today. Who knows? And they're all ready to go. I can just set them out and start assembling. I think that one's wearing out on me. All right. So there we go. Most of this is all set. We just have the carrots to work on. Okay, friends, now this is the fun part. I've got an abundance of eggs. So, I really can only fit a couple dozen in my freezers to, to flash freeze them at a time. And I use my, my silicone muffin tins. This way they just flop right out of there. With these, if you're gonna use metal, muffin tins you're going to want to spray them okay but i'm using silicone so it'll be just fine i don't scramble them i just put them in there and they fit beautifully i have jumbo eggs but if you've got small eggs you could probably use a um ice cube tray i have before with store-bought eggs they had a, before I even had my chickens years ago, they had eggs on sale here when I was driving semi for 25 cents a dozen. So I bought like 10 dozen of them and I froze them in ice cube trays. And it was perfect because that year when I cooked, when I baked my cookies for Christmas time, I didn't have to worry about any eggs. I had them all in the freezer, just thaw them out. Away you go. But see these size, these would never fit in an ice cube tray because they're almost filling this muffin tin. That's all I do. So if you've got an abundance of eggs, this works beautifully. Perfect. Okay, and see how they look in there? Perfect. Okay, this is boiling. Now, we got those done. I'm gonna do these ones. Some of these are just enormous. I 
These will last quite a while in your freezer. I could freeze these right now the way they are. And this coming Christmas, this next Christmas, I could use them for my baking. So that's how long they'll last. You can also freeze dry them. I've got freeze dried eggs as well. And those are perfect. Freeze drying eggs is perfect for bake, uh, baking breads and that. Plus you can re, you know, you can reconstitute them and make scrambled eggs or omelets. They're wonderful. The next time that I bake bread that calls for eggs, I'll show you how I use my powdered eggs. All right, I want to get this last one in here because our timer's done. I need to get these carrots in the sink. Okay, friends, I just put them over here in my basket. Drain them all out in there. And then I just stick them in the water. Perfect. One down here. I got two down there. Runaways. Okay, that's how I do that. That just works perfectly. I'm gonna let them soak in there for a minute, cool them down. If my water gets warm during that time, I will just add cold, cold water to it. But this will stop them from cooking and this will retain their color and their texture so they won't get mushy on you. It doesn't take that long and it's so well worth it. Okay, that water's starting to heat up. So this is what I do. Lose a couple. Put some more cold water in there. Those are all right. All right, now they'll cool down. Beautiful. Okay, friends, so I'm going to put the eggs in the freezer because I need to flash freeze them. And hopefully before I'm done with this video, I can show you how they turn out. Otherwise, you'll see it in another video. But I'm going to get those in the freezer, and I'll be back with you when we bag up our carrots. Okay, friends, we're ready to bag up the carrots. I got the eggs in the freezer. And we will get these all bagged up. They're beautiful. Okay, friends. Every time I do video, the phone rings. That's all right. Perfect. What you doing? Here looking like a chicken again? <laughs> I'm back from my nap. He's back from his nap. Are you ready to take another one? Oh, you want me to? No! Ha! Look at your strawberries. Now you can just grab them out of the jar and they last longer in glass. And then mm -hmm. a container. Mm-hmm. We should put our milk in it. A glass jug? It would last longer. Milk would last longer in a jug. 
away from the light. No, it would last longer in the refrigerator in a glass jug. I'm gonna leave that one open in a minute. Look at all these beautiful carrots. I couldn't believe that great big bag and they're organic too because that's usually more expensive. And yes, I get organic whenever I can, but I can't normally afford it. But these, a great big bag of carrots was only $2.98 and they were, they were organic. Fantastic. This is perfect. I thought you were going to slice them, some of them up long ways for your charcuterie board. No, I got baby carrots for that. Um, All right. Let me wash my hands up. I got baby carrots that I used for that. These are for our meals. Beautiful. <laughs> You're so cute, mister. Okay, I can put them in there. I can't believe the snow we got. Well, March in Michigan, if March comes in like a lamb, it'll go out like a lion and vice versa. Well, March come in like a lamb. So now it's going to scream on the way out with all this snow. I know I said, I did show them too. I know I said, this is the most snow we've had all year. But we had a buildup of snow because we had snow banks. We don't have snow banks right now, but it seems like this is a lot of snow we got all at once. All right, friends. Take a look at all this. And of course, I won't label them because I know what they are. You can tell what they are. But I'm definitely going to date them. And this way, one day, when I've got a little time on my hands, which is not too often, but one day when i got a little time on my hands, I'll go through and I'll prep for sheet pan dinners. You know, with chicken and I'll do sausage with some of these veggies. It's wonderful that way. Chicken. I love the Mediterranean style. The chicken and the vegetables and then the chickpeas in there. Oh, I love it. We'll do that. We'll do some nice little um, freezer sheet pan dinners. And I'll show you how I can do that for just one or two people. In my case, it would be one because he doesn't eat much of this stuff. He hates these things. He hates broccoli and cabbage and... and Brussels, all the good stuff. <laughs> Look at that face. I eat fruit, friends. <laughs> he, eats the fruit. he likes his fruit. Okay, well, I'm going to get, I'm going to go. I got other things I got to do. The eggs are in the freezer. They are not froze yet. So I'm going to have to show you the eggs in another video. But for now, friends, I hope you enjoyed this little video that we did for prepping our food fresh foods. You all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video, friends. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>